Hello Scorpio, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2018 mini tarot reading. Before we begin, I'd like to let those of you who have asked, Instant Go is up and running now, finally. Thank you for your patience and the link is listed down below if you'd like to check it out. So thanks for your patience with that. Let's see what's coming up for you Scorpio in June. Please remember this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. Get yourself an appointment, and I'll get to it as quickly as I can. Uh, please remember to check your sun and your moon and your rising sign. And with that said, let's see what's coming up here. Okay, it says new beginnings. Okay, if things haven't gone exactly like you thought they would, or maybe you had some upheaval, it looks like you started something that just kind of went south, it went sour. Um, there's going to be a change. Ace of Wands is on the way. Ace of Wands means new beginning, beginning of a journey, beginning of a business, beginning of an opportunity, something like that. So whatever is not been so good, like last month or the month before, it looks like it's going to be, have a big improvement uh, for some of you. It says it's, you are being led, okay, but it's like, um, uh, it's like spirit is walking with you or your prayers are being answered and you're questioning it. Some of you are saying, do I deserve this? Is this for me? Is this really happening? Yes, yes, and yes. So please believe that you too are entitled to help when you ask for it from spirit because they heard you. It says what you've learned about money you're gonna put into uh, action, okay? If you're learning how to save for uh, retirement or if you're learning how to save for a house, if you're learning how to change things around, maybe you're uh, having a different way of paying things, maybe you're, um, uh, just changing of a budget can bring you more money is what, what I heard here. So it says, your intuition is really st strong right now. Um, do the best you can to trust that. And just to try to differentiate. Is it my ego or is it my intuition? When you figure that out, it'll it, you can use it often. Um, or always, I guess, is a word. But it says you've been working really hard and that's going to pay off for you. A lot of people have noticed what's going on around you in a good way says that you haven't been slacking off. It looks like uh, what you're wanting is right before you. You feel, some of you feel like, oh, nothing's changed. It's still the same. I don't think so. I think there's going to be an improvement here real quick. It says a journey that you're going on, whether it be a long vacation or just to travel across town, wherever it is, it's, I feel like you stay overnight there. And remember this, take some peace for yourself. Make this about you. You can't be working all the time. You need to treat yourself once in a while. And those of you that are in a relationship and if there's a little trouble going on there, ask yourself, you know, how, what can I do to make this better? Um, with those simple words, a lot of things can change. Not saying it's one person's fault or the other, but sometimes when two people can come together with an attitude of gratitude, everything changes. With that thought, it says things will get definitely get better. What you've asked for is right before you. It says now is the time to make agreements and be a person of your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you sign a contract, make sure you stick to it. It says Ace of Pentacles means something is offered of money whether that be a job, a, a sale, um, a change in something, maybe there's um, you're selling something, a house, a car, whatever, or you're waiting to hear about um, financing on something, it's right before you. <clears throat> it says there's gonna be reasons to celebrate this month, there is gonna be gaiety in the midst of change and choices will be made, but fear not, it looks like you're gonna make the right choices for you and make, make sure they are about you. It says that travel that you're wanting, plans for that could certainly be made now. You have the Ace of Cups, which says when your mind is filled with spirit, it fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become. doesn't matter what's gone. You can't go back and change that. matters what's here right now. <clears throat> and, you know, um, you can't live in the future. It really just work with what you have. And I see changes, or I feel there's going to be changes for the better in relationships. If you're alone. <clears throat> and you're not in a relationship, good time to get out there and maybe meet somebody. Again, I have another ace here, and it's the Ace of Swords, which says victory is yours. doesn't matter what other people say and do. It matters what you say or what you think. That feeling of being alone even when you're with people, you need to stop and ask yourself, what is it that's, you know, how is this serving me? Um, 
Maybe you're with the wrong people. I'm not saying you are, but if you're always feeling that way, you need to find out how come. You definitely will be making some choices for the future. You are going to be hearing from someone from the past. I don't know if you're going to visit home maybe, or you're going to go visit an aunt or an uncle or some member of the family. You're going to see somebody you hadn't seen in a long time. And it's going to it's gonna make that time about you. That's going to be a good thing. It says victory can be yours. And it says don't... Um, if you made poor choices about people in the past, learn from it and move on best you can. Don't shut yourself down to be all alone and with nobody or uh, be by yourself because you weren't put on this earth walk to walk alone. Sadness from the past, don't let it overtake everything. It says that, yes, if you can't let it go or forgive or forget, which is fine, don't just don't carry it all the time if you can even just let it go. Not saying it has to be forgiven or forgotten, but it's if it's you're angry at somebody, they don't even probably know it and you're hurting yourself. So think about that if you can, because it'll make things a lot better for you. Nine of Cups says you have a wish coming, and it says alms dispense with justice. What you're wanting, Scorpio, is on the way. So open to receive, have an attitude of gratitude. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and I'll see you again next month.